Hey guys, I have the palettes of the month for February. These are all the palettes that I tried for the month of February and this idea is from Alicia Budget Beauty. I have to give credit where credit is due. I mistakenly said last time that we did it a little bit different but I feel like she's more or less on par with what I wanted to do so I'm going to give her all the credit. I don't know if she got it from someone else but I will have her channel down below. If you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe and like and comment. I love doing beauty and fashion videos. And let's go ahead and jump into it. I have tried quite a bit this month. I have been using not only my wheel, but also got some PR as well. So let's start off with the palettes that I use from my decision wheel. If you don't know what that is, it's an app where you literally can put in anything you want in a list form and then randomly select. And you can actually tell it to not do duplicates. So once it has selected something, it will not re uh what's that called like reselect it so it already knows like it's a non non repeating mode okay let's get into it first thing is the color pop little ray of sunshine this is such a cute little palette as far as their nine pan ones i really enjoy color pop's formula this is all matte and i do like this because i can pair it with other single shadows or wear it alone. I want to say I did like a sunset look with this and I really highly enjoyed it. And I feel like the shadows still perform really, really nicely. I don't think that there's anything that I will be decluttering this month, uh, but you know, we'll see because you never know with me, but I really love this. I highly recommend ColourPop's palettes because they're not only affordable, but really, really great quality. Next we have Miss Mother Pat. We know that her eyeshadows are super, super expensive. I will say though, they're not as expensive as when she first started coming out with her products. I feel like now everything goes on sale immediately, so definitely wait for it to go on sale because it will. And it kind of makes me sad because it kind of like lost its luxury. I also feel like she lost that oomph because before I felt like a lot of the palettes, there was like a neutral one, but then there was other pops of fun. And this was one of those that was a lot of fun and had like peaches and, and like more rare shades in here. I wish she would do more like this and stop putting so much neutral. And even this one has neutral shades in here, but this is the Mothership 9, the Utopian Dream. Of course, when I got this, I love the purples in here. This one right here, this purple is like a dewy chrome. Uh, both of these are like those special shades that are very, very gorgeous, shimmery, just ugh, the reason I fell in love with Miss Pat. Her shadows are just so buttery soft. Her shimmers, like, look at that. Look at that. It's just, mm. And she is so good at promoting her products. Like, when you see her videos, you're like, ooh, child. But I do feel like I have been put off as time has progressed just because, first of all, it goes on sale. And second of all, it's like every palette has this same brown, this same shimmer. And these are expensive expensive ass palette so I'm if I'm gonna pay for it I want to see something different something that's gonna add to my collection I don't want to see repeats and I feel like there's a lot of repeats but I was able to do a very beautiful look I do highly enjoy her shadows they blend like a dream the shimmers are, are just they're just beautiful absolutely just beautiful she does like just such a good job with her shimmers they have like these sparkles in them they're just very special shades and i really really love them but um i don't know i just feel like i don't really gravitate towards it and more even so because of the price point and i also use a quad the venus in fleurs luxe quad this is called voriex six vixen likewise miss pat mcgrath and this one is very as you can see the same brown that same like creamy like shimmery uh white frost and then here we have this one which is um kind of like an all over kind of bronzy shade and then the special shade in here is this one right here which is kind of like that 
uh, gold to reddish duochrome. That's the reason I bought this palette was mainly for that special shade. I need Miss Pat McGrath to come out with a palette of just special shades. I can't even tell you that junk would sell out in a minute. But seeing it with this, with these combinations of like neutrals every single time, deters me from buying because I don't want to keep buying palettes where all the shades are the same and only like one or two are special shades, you know? But I was able to do a beautiful look and every time I reach for the palette, I always use that special shade <laughs> without a fail. Unless I'm, you know, I don't know, I'm doing something like more neutral. But for the most part, I always want to reach for that neutral shade. Next up is the Beauty Bakery Do It For The Gram and all of their stuff is associated with food. Super, super cute. Their formula is really nice. I absolutely love their formula and they have a lot of beautiful dual chromes in here. They have one that's like more turquoise and one that's more like brown green. This palette performs gorgeous. I really, really love it. The shimmers in here are like buttery soft and just, oh, they're just so good. Uh, so again, another really great brand. I really enjoy their palettes. I, I haven't purchased their palettes. Like I have, I want to say like four or five of them, and they've all been from Ipsy or BoxyCharm, but I, I do enjoy them, so I have kept them. Next up, we have Glam Lights, and you guys, if you guys saw me, I bought this collection because I am a sucker for packaging. I grew up in the 80s, and if you're an 80s child, you're gonna recognize her. This is Miss Strawberry Shortcake. This palette is very beautiful. I love Glam Lights formula likewise, but they are more affordable than Miss Pat McGrath, and you get such gorgeous shades. So here we have these stunning greens. I want to say I did more of a neutral look with this um, kind of like a uh, shade that's very uh, dual chromey. There's such beautiful shades in here. Look at this baby pink that's just stunner. So there's so many ways of doing this. You do like pink with green, an all pink look, an all green look. You even have um, this taupey shade in here that's absolutely just beautiful by itself all over the lid. Just gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I really love Glam Light. I can't say enough about them. Next, we have another ColourPop. This is the Mandalorian, another one that I got because of packaging. I absolutely love Grogu, Mandalorian, and <laughs> Star Wars. Super, super cute. And then, as you can see, the shades in here are very related to the color story of what the Mandalorian is. So I did more of a neutral look with this. I want to say I use this main one called Clan of Two, which is kind of like a, it's kind of like a brown green that's just absolutely beautiful. And then I use the neutral shades in here. So this one, another palette that I absolutely love. I can't say enough, enough good things about ColourPop. Like I just, I just love them. Um, do they go on sale? Yes. Do I feel like they come out with way too many collections? Yes. But are they good? They are. Next we have something that I should declutter, but I just can't bring myself to letting go of the Urban Decay Moon Dust. This palette is pretty old. I think it's the oldest palette in my collection right now, but I just... Uh, I just love these eyeshadows. I need Urban Decay to come out with another Moon Dust palette and have these shades in there as well so I can just declutter this one. They did come out with like two neutral Moon Dust shadow palettes, but they did not have any of these fun shades. So I was like, nah, I'm not decluttering this. Uh, we have Element, Magnetic, uh, Lightyear. These are just... Hopefully the camera picks it up, but these sparkle like nobody's business. They're so good, and I love me a good sparkle. If uh, if you love a good sparkle, Moon Dust is the way to go. I love the new neutral ones. I haven't bought them because my collection is just excessive, but they are very very beautiful. You can just literally put a mid-tone brown on your crease and pop one of these on your eye and people will be like, oh my God, that's so pretty. What do you have on? Moon dust. Mm, urban decay. 
Urban Decay used to be my OG like go-to brand and I feel like over the years they've become a lot more boring and they used to be so innovative and different and like oh and I need them to go back to that a lot of these brands I feel like need to go back to that fun aspect then we have a few palettes that came in PR first is what I actually use today which is from the ipsy box this is the wonder wander trail blazer palette and it's actually what i have on my eyes i love me wander beauty but i feel like they're doing the same thing as pat mcgrath where they're getting boring stop putting literally like if i cover this green it's a neutral palette and i feel like all their palettes are the same like one of them has a little bit more like two purple shades one has a blue shade like a turquoise shade you know like it's like i need you to get out of your box get out these are beautiful you do have to kind of know how to work with these shadows because they're more foiled they're kind of like that thicker formula and so you want to use something that's really going to grip onto those shadows either your finger a natural hairbrush if you have a good synthetic brush that you know that is good for for these type of eyeshadows uh, definitely use that but these shadows are just gorgeous they perform very beautifully I have the chartreuse color on my lid I have a mixture of these two on the inner corner they're just like very beautiful foiled and absolutely lovely so really enjoy that and then if you guys haven't seen my review I did a review on both of these the creamy Huda Beauty I use them a few times more just to really get a feel for them and this one is kind of like a little out of my comfort zone this is the grayish these are all cool toned gray tones i will say this lightest shade here the cream formula on this is very different from all the other creams in both palettes this one is a lot more like way too creamy like a little too too creamy i needed it to be a little bit more drier like the other formulas so that it kind of like adhered a little bit better to the lid i've tried to use it a few times now and it literally brings out texture i need to really set it in place it kind of um can be a little bit patchy these cream shadows you want to kind of and i say this in my review you kind of want to pat in there and then pat and blend not kind of like swipe because it couldn't it can get a little patchy that way so with these you definitely want to do more of like a patting motion and blend like a little round motions than actually like swiping which you would do with more powder products but these are very beautiful the only shade that i didn't like in here was that really light shade but all the other ones perform gorgeously likewise this one has more my heart and i feel like i'm gonna take this on vacation this is the neutral brown creamy obsessions and what i love about these is that this is like you can use two to three eyeshadows and create a look or just one eyeshadow or just like the cream on the bottom and one all over the lid and you're like done uh they're just like easy peasy so this one has my heart and this is the neutral brown and literally that's what i did when i use this for work like i use this taupe color here this mid-tone brown applied it all over my lid blended it out like more on my crease and then use one of these shimmers or even the marbled one on my lid and it's just like an easy to go kind of look especially at the older you get sometimes you don't want to do like something so fancy like what i have on my eyes you want to do something that's like two steps and I'm done, you know, or one step and I'm done. And I feel like you can do that a lot with these cream eyeshadows because it's kind of like you have a base. So not necessarily you need to use a primer. You could definitely use one of these creams and they set down by themselves so you don't really have to set it. You do have a setting powder in here if you need it, but I do like this more for just like the brow bone or to cl like clean up those edges but absolutely love these palettes very very beautiful i wish the lightest shade in the grayish one worked better because that was the only one that i have difficulty with but i do really enjoy these especially this brown one i already know i'm going to take it with me on vacation because of that because i can literally take this put it all over like my crease and then use this one on the outer edge or use one of these um 
one of these two shimmer ones all over the lid and I'm done and when I'm on vacation I just try to do like very simple neutral looks so I think that this will definitely come in handy anyways those were all the palettes that I tried in February I won't be decluttering any of these and but we shall see what comes out on my wheel for March and who knows but uh, so far I've been doing really good about trying to use as many palettes as I can uh, sadly, there are days that I, you know, don't wear makeup, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Let me know if you guys are doing this as well. I would love to go watch your video. Just leave me your channel down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.